Good morning. We are here with Marga, Marga Weatherford and Robin Phillips. And we, Robin, I've known you for a few years now. She's been a part of our Impact Worldwide and EXP. And Marga just made a huge move this week. She's a top agent in Wilmington, North Carolina. Um, and we're excited that she's a part of our group and what we're doing together and building our businesses together. Um, Thanks Marga. for having me, Shelly. I appreciate it. Yeah, we're I'm excited. excited to be here. This is awesome. We're excited. Have you, um, so tell us a little bit, where would you come from? What's your business been back, background been? Where have you, where, what's been your real estate path? Yeah, sure. So I've been in real estate for almost 10 years now. Um, I have been with the same company my entire career in real estate. Um, I was with Keller Williams for almost 10 years and learned a lot with the company. Uh, a lot of my success, you know, can be contributed to people that I've met along the way through KW. Um, what else do you want to know? How, how deep do you want me to go? <laughs> you have a team, you all did around 24 million this year, this past year in volume. Yeah, I have a team. Um, we, so two years ago, I went back into production right when COVID hit. Um, I was a productivity coach with Keller Williams prior to that. And I had held a license in South Carolina for a long time and in Jamaica. However, I went back into production and our first full year back in sales, um, my team hit 50 transactions. Wow. And yeah, I was really proud of that. We had a great year, especially given the circumstances with COVID. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, the hit 50 transactions goes to show that you know what you're doing, being a productivity coach and helping agents be successful. I think that when we met with you the first time, I remember how impressed I was with um, some of the people you've mentored. I got to meet a couple of them and um, and just hearing your their story and seeing their success and seeing you light up with their success has really been fun to um, watch that too. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So um, what really got you, you live in Wilmington, North Carolina, um, top agent in that market. And um, what was the thing that was like, you know, you've been with Keller Williams for 10 years. That's a long time, a, a real loyal commitment to a company. And I'm um, just curious, what was it that was like okay, compelling you to take a look at EXP and Impact Worldwide and what we're all doing together? What was the, the thing that made you want to look at that? Well, I'll be honest, at first I wasn't interested at all. <laughs> <laughs> and that's being totally transparent. Um, Robin Phillips is a dear friend of mine, and I've known Robin since we were at Keller Williams together. How many years ago, Robin? 2015, 2016? Yeah. Yes. Why do you go now? <laughs> yeah. So um, anyways, I finally, Robin had invited me to a couple of events last summer, and I just kept saying, Robin, like, I'm, I'm happy where I am, you know, and, and it was only because I hadn't truthfully, Shelly opened myself up to understand the model. Right. Um, however, more recently, you know, when I see the landscape of how real estate is changing from more of a 30,000 foot view, uh, I had no choice but to really investigate the model and, and understand why lots of top agents were coming over to eXp. And so that was truly what initially got me interested. And then, of course, there's way more where that came from. Yeah, that's um, that's really cool. It's the relationships, though, isn't it? Like the the people that we are in relationship with, who we respect in our world, and it really is that piece, that piece that, that kind of like goes. You know what? Robin's super successful. I mean, they're killing it in Charleston. So for those of you who don't know Robin or haven't had the honor to meet with her, she does an incredible job training, helping agents understand the real estate. You know, be, become better in their markets. Right. And it does a lot inside the impact. And then it is the relationship of us all working together and building something together. And uh, I, I was excited when I got to meet you. I'm super excited. You're part of what we're doing and, yeah. and growing together. So um, what, what is like when you're talking with agents, I mean, when you're, you're you lived in Jamaica, were you a team leader in Jamaica as well? And KW, you launched that market, right? I helped launch that market center and in, in the island. Um, I was more of, productivity coach, you know, I did a lot of training for their market center in Kingston initially. Yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. And then you do a lot of, um, I know all of us on this call have a passion for charity and giving back and you're into entrepreneurship with um, kids. Would you mind expanding a little bit about that and what that passion, how, how that's helping you and the kids grow personally? Yeah, sure. So obviously during COVID, everything kind of took a backseat as far as 
you know, um, visiting orphanages in North Carolina or going overseas. Um, I have been involved with orphanages and um, different nonprofits globally since probably 2011. Uh, I've spent time in Kenya, Uganda. I've taught um, leadership courses that um, some friends of mine and, and people that I respect actually created. I've taught courses in Belize and in, in Jamaica. And when I lived in Jamaica, I had the honor of helping to serve once a week at a children's home in Montego Bay. And that was really, that was really special. And, um, and I still love it. I can't wait to get back to it. That's really, really cool. Um, all right, so with the um, with the kids, are you so you're not if you're not been able to travel at all so far? Is it that's something that's going to happen soon for you? Uh, definitely. Yeah, I have a um, a contact in Uganda that certainly wants us to bring some courses back, and and you know one of those courses was a Keller Williams course uh, that I still highly regard. You know, Quantum Leap is an is an exceptional course, and I recommend everyone to take it. Um, even adults, you know, they, they teach the, the adult version too, but, um, yeah, I'm excited to go back. And, and that's just one of the things that really makes my heart sing. You know, I think we all have to have areas of our lives that allow us to really get in touch with who we are and who we are as people, not just as real estate brokers or not just as entrepreneurs. Uh, so that's just one facet of my life that I'm passionate about. So, um, Robin, with what your business and your relationship with Margot, share with us a little bit about, you know, your path and in, in this journey. You've been with EXP now for how long? Wow, it's been three and a half years now that that I've I've been with EXP. And I think Margot and I have a little bit in common that we're both very passionate about international. Um, I lived overseas for a number of years in Sweden and Germany and Mexico and that was part of my my life was international. And I when I first came over to EXP, one of the things that I really looked at was their international presence and how easy would it be for me to have a business, expand a business internationally and as well as over borders in the US. And I think that for me has been such a huge thing. And when I saw how much Margot does internationally and she has for me been an inspiration as well because there's nothing this woman has not done like if she thinks it's a great idea it's like i'm gonna go do that okay so just well, I'll call later yeah. I don't know how I'm doing. Doing thing. And yes that's me <laughs> <laughs> yeah absolutely it's like oh i'm just gonna have an expansion team like no one really does that in keller williams right now but we're just gonna go do that you know what i mean because i can so yeah. i think that um some of the some of the reasons why I looked at EXP and said this is so much easier, I think, are some of the same that Margot does. And I think that's for me, when I was friends with her, that was part of the attraction, I think, is this girls with grit or this, you know, I can tackle anything, be anything, do anything. And, you know, the world's my oyster. So that's that's been pretty cool for me. And it seems like we just keep getting more and more people to surround ourselves with that are like that. So it's fun. Yeah. Yesterday, you guys did an event in Charleston that was just stellar. I had so much fun um, with all of you, and and it was it was it's, it's fun. Like we, you're like you're saying, Robin, and getting Margot to be part of our tribe, and we're going to run together, and we're going to do great things for our other other realtors and our clients, and build something that's way beyond us. And that's like I, I hear when I talk. Know both of you. I've known you for a while, Robin, Margot. I've gotten to know you a little bit recently um but what i see is like two really strong women who when you give a, when you have a passion for something there's no stopping you and um i mean when we're going through margo's like all the things she's done i'm like holy smokes i mean she's like you know you give to your clients you give to other agents you've been building agents for years you built an incredible business very quickly and you know, like it's basically like give her something and she runs with it and don't stop. Don't get in the way because <laughs> I'm run you over. Trust me. I love that. Um, and Shelly, I don't know if you had a different direction or, or anything else that you wanted to ask me. I mean, I know this is live on my Facebook too. And I have a lot of realtor friends that are asking me questions, you know, at different companies about, right. um, you know why I made this move and they're 
very intrigued by it. Um, obviously, EXP is well on the map. You know, Inman just released another article yesterday about the, um, you know, agent attraction and how agents are continuing to really understand this model. So I wanted to speak about that for a minute, if it's okay, just for my friends that are watching. Yeah, absolutely. Please. Absolutely. Okay. So, you know, you asked me why, why EXP and, um, when I said Robin had, you know, reached out to me for so long and I had been like, no, Robin, I'm fine. Really, the only reason I said that is because all I knew about EXP was the fact that, you know, what what my world at the time was telling me about EXP. And that was, you know, it's just about recruiting. It's not selling real estate. It's not caring about your clients. And that's the complete opposite of what I found with this company. So I just want to say to my agent friends that are watching, you know, I'm happy to share my story. I told some people to tune in if they wanted to learn more about why I switched over. And I wanted to be sure that this was a good move for me before I did it. I wanted to be sure that A, my clients were going to be taken care of. B, we would be able to help more people at a higher level. And C, that my... Um, that my agent relationships would be strengthened even from what they were, you know, 35% of my business last year came from agent referrals. I was a little bit nervous about coming over and that being affected. However, I've already connected with so many agents through the workplace and, you know, through impact, um, through our local community with EXP here in Wilmington that I am not afraid of that at all. Um, so if anybody wants more information, you know, that's just scratching the surface. However, there are so many more reasons why I chose to do this. And I think that every agent who's looking for community and growth and, and a better ability to focus on their clients and to get to deliver better service should look at this model. Well, Margo, interestingly enough, one, one of the biggest pushbacks I always get is people don't understand the virtual brokerage and how this, mm -hmm. how, like, how do you even get help? How do you connect with your broker? And Marco had a, a little bit of an interesting situation with some checks that she was trying to deal with and, right. you know, changing brokerages, you know, a top agent, their business doesn't stop, right? right. It right. just keeps going. And can you speak a little bit about how that went and, and what that experience was? Yeah, sure. Well, let me start with anybody. So I have had several agents ask me about this and I said, EXP has the best customer service of a real estate brokerage I've literally ever seen. <laughs> Literally, and I've seen a lot of brokerages. <laughs> I've been with one, I've seen a lot. Um, so I had a check, you know, that was lost in the mail or whatever, and I won't go into the details too much. However, um, I had this wonderful woman named Dana, and if Dana is watching this, or if I ever meet this wonderful lady, I will hug her neck so hard because she called me every single morning until we found out where that check was. Wow. And she Someone who I've never met, you know, it was a main line from EXP. I was kind of thinking that maybe this was going to be some outsourced, you know, number with someone who maybe I couldn't really understand. Dana was the sweetest woman. She had the best customer service skills and she was devoted to helping me figure out where this where this money was. And they actually um, ended up, I think, expediting it. They found it. And now that I'm with EXP, I don't even have to worry about checks because I get paid on the copy of the check, which okay. is another amazing asset that so many realtors are like, what? You get paid on the copy? I think that's incredible. So yeah, yeah. they really, they've done a great job. Like with our broker operations, we've got the top brokers working with us. We've got great support team. I mean, our compliance department is so approachable and helpful. Um, when we have, we're bringing, we're bringing you over a team um, of our brokerage, we're bringing our brokerages and teams every single day. And as we're bringing over these, these bigger groups and, and like team, Margo's team over, there's like a concierge process that they go through. So it's super simple. The transition is really smooth. Um, and then it's basically like hit the ground running. And then we've got all these other opportunities beyond transactional um, of everyday transactions are going to happen regardless of whether you um, do anything with it or not. You're going to receive the stock. You're going to receive um, the opportunity to build for your future just right. because you're part of this group and you have ownership. I mean, 
I mean, that's the that's a big change in our industry to have real ownership in a company and not have to buy a franchise. And, you know, I've been in the business 18 years. Margo, how long have you been in, Margo? Almost 10. 10 years. And then, Robin, how long have you been in? 10. So between all of us, we've been in for a minute. And when we left our companies before, we walked away and we had nothing to show for it, really, other than we have you know, our clients. and our. But when we are older, we're looking at something for our future. I kept thinking like, OK, one day, you know, when we do want to slow down a little bit from the everyday real estate transaction, we can still be very involved in real estate because I don't think I'll ever retire from real estate. I love it. Um, but you know, it is nice to have these other options of running alongside our business. And that's amazing. And I love that. Um, I love to hear that how well our support team is supporting everybody inside the company. Absolutely. And those are just, you know, small things in comparison to what EXP offers. Yeah. However, you know, when you see the intentionality at that, with that particular bucket, then you know that the others are going to be just as fabulous. Um, and, and the revenue share, you know, is another great extension of the company. Right. Uh, think about, you know, agents nowadays, the average agent closes less than 10 transactions a year. And you've got so many agents out there that are trying to make it full time in this industry. And they're having, trust me, I've seen it gaps, you know, where they either have a deal fall through or they miss a paycheck or, you know, what if they could have this revenue share opportunity that could help them during those times where their business is not cash flowing um, because cash flow is one of the greatest you know struggles of the real estate brokerage industry so just another little snippet <laughs> well and i think what shelly doesn't know this but we we do see a lot of people saying oh you know i'm not a recruiter i just want to sell real estate and i don't i don't want to get involved in this mm -hmm. so Tell us, Margo, how many people, when you made the announcement, reached out to you and how much time have you spent like calling, cold calling agents and trying, I mean, how has this worked out for you so far? Yeah, I mean, I've had lots of agents, you know, that called me, wanted to set up meetings, talk about the move. And I, I being a very transparent person am transparent, you know, there's a brokerage for everybody. It may or may not be the place for you. It's been a wonderful transition for me and for my business. Um, however, I don't, and I told you this, Robin, like before I joined a company, I've been with one real estate company for my entire career and I, and I love that company and I, I still respect it. However, I think with the way that the industry is going, I'm, I'm not sure that I have some thoughts on that, that I won't go into here. However, um, you know, for, for me to make a move is a big deal for me to make a move is I've got to research. I've got to understand. I have to ensure that I can get behind what this company represents because I can't be fake. <laughs> we may be in sales, but trust me, I am not a salesperson. <laughs> I cannot be fake. I am nothing but the truth. And so um, I, in talking to people, it just comes naturally, you know, and I think for those watching, if you're considering moving to EXP, maybe you want to focus on agent attraction. Maybe you're like me and you really love your brokerage clients and you, you love the sales process, whatever your focus is, if you truly uh, respect and understand why you're with the company you're with, then you're naturally going to attract other brokers to that company. Yeah, it's so true. And it surprised me because Margo is very similar to you. When Craig and I came over to the company, we were thinking, oh, maybe, you know, we'll have our team come with us. And maybe a couple of agents may decide they want to be a part of what we're doing. And it was just incredible the, the level of people. We have people all over the country and world now that we would never have in our life. And the referrals off of that alone has been huge, just the relationships. I mean, and it's, it's a, we were concerned. We're like, oh, it's a virtual company. I guess we'll just be over here on our own island. But no, I have better real, real estate relationships than I've ever had in my entire career. And that right. was the first year. And Craig and I looked at each other like, this is incredible. Like, how do we get so lucky to be around such incredible rock stars and be able to build with them and work together and share? Like, how much faster can you scale your business when you have people that have a resource that can help you and you're not having to pay for outside coaching to get this? We're coaching inside of Impact. We're getting right. 
training inside of EXP. We've got all the tools and resources. It's just how fast do you want to go and what do you want to do? And let's go do it. Um, yeah. Yesterday we, we did our meeting. I said to everybody, I'm like, we have a golden egg. All we got to do is say, you know what? I'm going to be part of that. And I want to pick that up and I want to run with the, with the lions of the industry, the people that really sell a ton of real estate. I don't know if I even bragged on Robin, but she's a beast in her market. Um, <laughs> You know, she is. I've heard her on the phone. <laughs> oh, so good. And I mean, like someone very organized and very much about her clients. And doesn't her and David run an incredible business in Char in the Charleston market? Craig and I are so fortunate to have an incredible team in the Charlotte, and the, like Norman market that um, we've been building together and working hard and we're sharing, we're taking like our systems and going here, take them, run with them, go build your own team. Let's go crush this. Let's do right. this. And there's Absolutely. this total collaboration. And I'm talking not like because someone's in North Carolina, or Texas or California, I'm talking like the people in our own market that you would consider to be competitors. We're giving mm -hmm. them our resources a mile down the street. And guess what? We're all winning together and we're still all selling more real estate. And it's this, it's this abundance mindset, which you two girls definitely have. And it's like, how much can we help each other? How can we help children in other countries? How can we help dogs in our kids? Like I'm a dog person. <laughs> I'm like, how can, yeah. we <laughs> like, how can we help our communities as a whole be better than where they were? How can yeah. we help agents be better than where they are? And how can we, help them get there faster. And Margo, you have that, like, that's who you are. And I love, that's why I loved it. And when you brought your other agents in that you're like, okay, what do you think about this? And, and mm -hmm. they were excited and to see them excited was fun. Yeah. And you know, everyone makes their own decision about where they want to be. Um, I think that for a lot of newer agents, it's important to have for some of them, like the, the community is important. You know, they, they have to have those those people and those friends that are kind of in it with them. And we have that in impact. I mean, we've got, you know, agents that you can easily connect with at whatever stage you're at in your career. Um, and the last thing that I will say, this is my last thing, because I know we're like coming up on time here. Um, so a lot of brokerages think that they, or let me back up, a lot of agents that are newer in the industry, you know, they think they need to go sit in an office. They need to, potentially cold call all day and they need to just sit there and wait until their broker in charge gives them a lead or until someone walks in the building and someone like rings their name and asks them to come to the front and take the client. You know, the reality is that's not our industry and EXP really supports both the agent as they're training and learning. EXP has more training online than I've ever seen right. than my previous company. And, um, you know, agents need to be out there in the field. And I think that this model really supports that for new agents as well, um, or newer agents. And I just wanted to address that because, you know, brick and mortar is great. However, look at us right now, we're not sitting in the same room and we're having, you know, a really elevated conversation and Robin's in Charleston and Shelly, you're normally in, I don't know where you are. <laughs> I see a palm tree behind you and I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> and that will be and we're just, you know, having this really great conversation with all of our friends on Facebook and StreamYard and wherever else. So, you know, brick and mortar is a thing of the past. And it's not necessarily necessary all the time, you know, to have a really successful real estate business. That's awesome. Thank you so much, both of you, for today. Um, I'm just over the moon excited. We're going to be doing more interviews. And Margo, you, you've definitely got, I'm sitting here thinking about you. You're a video girl. You, you <laughs> a video. I'm like, she's so eloquent. Um, yeah, I've been doing it for years. I will say my first video I ever did, you should go back and look at it. Um, if John Crompton ever watches this, he knows that video. John <laughs> Crompton, Robin and Charlotte or in Charleston, I was sweating. Like I took my jacket off and you know, that first video you ever do, yeah. everybody knows about it right you're like your heart's pumping and you go back and watch it years later and you're like what in the heck was that <laughs> <laughs> so maybe i'll put that out there one day for a laugh but yeah i, I just love being able to connect with people and i think well, you're really definitely fun. that and you're definitely real and i love that about you that's um that's why you're successful because you really come from the heart and you know you really want to help people get where they need to go and it's evident in your business it's evident with your clients and it's i'm just grateful to be 
and, and surrounded by people like both of you. So thank you both. Have an awesome, awesome week. Um, crush it. Let's go do some great stuff together and um, appreciate you both. Okay. Bye, Shelly. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye.